This is my DNA enzyme model. Consists of two complementary strands. They are parallel to each other. One is 5 to 3N and 3 to 5N. Um, they consist of sugar phosphate backbones. And the yellow circles are the phosphate group. And the green pentagons are the deoxyribose sugars. You can find the nitrogenous bases in the center of the DNA. And they are uh, consist of purines pyrimidines. They are bonded together by hydrogen bonds. Um, purines are larger bases with a six-membered ring of carbon and nitrogen atoms fused to a five-membered ring of carbon and nitrogen atoms and they are the adenine, orange ones, and the guanine, pink ones. Pyrimidines are just one six-membered ring and they are the cytosine, red bases, and thymine, blue bases. When helicase is introduced to the DNA, it untwists the DNA for replication and the two strands split between the hydrogen bonds. So it looks like this. Um, making the strands available as template strands. This enzyme would be found in the nucleus for DNA replication. When nuclease is introduced to the DNA, um, it either removes one or a few of the nitrogenous bases, or it cleaves the phosphodiester bonds, leaving complementary base pairs to stay together. So, like this. Phosphodiester bonds are the covalent bonds between the hydroxyl of the sugar and the hydroxyl of the phosphate group. Um, and the nucleus enzyme would be found in a lysosome to break down foreign DNA. And this is how nuclease and helicase enzymes act on DNA. The end.